Welcome to the video lecture on time invariance of a system. In this video, we'll consider a continuous time system y of t is equal to x of t into cos 200 pi t. The task is to determine is this system time invariant or time variant. To begin with, we already know that the definition of time invariance, a shift in the input must lead to an identical shift in the output. If that happens, we say that the given system is time invariant or it is time variant. So first, we'll try to understand the nature of the system. So nature of the system is that x of t is the input. I'll feed this to a system of operator h so that I'll get the output as y of t, which is equal to x of t into cosine of 200 pi t. So that means whatever I feed in, it multiplies that input with cosine of 200 pi t and gets you the output. That is the nature of the system. So to begin with, I'll consider first a shift in the input. x of t is the input. So I'll have a shift in the input that is x of t minus t naught. So now if I give this to a system of operator h and I get the output as y of t. So as per the nature of the system, so input is x of t minus t naught it multiplies this with cosine of 200 pi t and gets you the output. So this is what I get in the first half. In the second half, I'll consider a shift in the output that is y of t minus t naught. And I already have the expression for y of t. So in that expression, we have to replace every t with t minus t naught to get y of t minus t naught. Therefore, I'll get y of t minus t naught as x of t minus t naught into cosine of 200 pi. So here I find another t. So I have to replace that with t minus t naught. So this is what I get in the second half. So by comparing as these two are not equal, we can say that the given system is time variant or it is also not time invariant. 